So here we're just asked to subtract these two functions. So remember that. Um, You're seeing them too. Oh, yeah. I did that because the grades popped up. All right, so. Um, I have f of x, right? So when I say f minus g, I really am going to say, well, it's f of n this time. And then um, when I subtract g from it, I'm going to subtract g of n. And then when we're done, at the end of this, um, so when I say f minus, f minus g of n equals f of n minus g of n. Okay. I the really the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in um, f of n, which is n minus four. Then in parentheses, I'm going to put minus g of n. Well, g of n is all this stuff, so it's going to be minus negative n squared minus 1. Well, I said minus minus. So it's negative n squared minus 1. Remember that that minus sign is the same as saying a negative 1, and then I distribute it through the parentheses. So on the next line, negative 1 times negative n squared is just a positive n squared. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is just a positive 1. All this uh, other stuff on the other side really hasn't changed, so we just write that down. Um, and all of that's going to equal my f minus g of n. Okay. So now I'm going to combine like terms. I like to write it in descending order. I see that I have n squared, just one of them, so I toss that to the front. Next, I deal with the n's. I only have one n, it's a positive n, so I'm going to say plus n. And then lastly, I've got some constants here. I've got negative 4 plus 1. Remember that negative 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 3. Oh, so I'm going to change this to minus 3. So I thought about that. And that's it. Let me double check and make sure that's the correct answer. Uh, plus and minus three. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay.